right, hey everybody, good morning. Ben here with We Go Fishing, and I'm getting ready to pull the pin trap, uh, pinfish trap that I put out last night uh, with some dead shrimp that we had uh, left over from the day before. So we'll go ahead and pull it and see what we got here. Oh yeah, it looks like we got quite a few in there. All right, nobody's messed with it. Got my zip tie on there. That's always Trying good. Get them in there. So we got quite a few live pinfish this morning. We're going to go out to the surf and see if we can catch them. All right, hey everybody, Ben with Hugo Fishing again, and uh, we are down here at the Gulf Shore and. Uh, the water's kind of brown, but I, I put out the first, the big pole with pinfish, the second one with, with a, a cut menhaden. Both of them are kind of pulling, so I'm thinking I might have something. I'm going to pull them in here in just a moment. Uh, the girls are out there. If you want to show them, um, Karen and her and her good friend is out there. And uh, we're going to see what we got here. All right, guys, I'm hooked up. This was on a pinfish that I caught in my pinfish trap this morning. He just realized that he's hooked, I think. How did he get up? No. Did he cut the line? He cut my line. Well, guys, he cut my line. Probably some type of shark or a jack or something. Something cut it. And I don't have any steel eater with me, so. All right, hooked up. Hooked up. What we got here? We got a shark. We got a shark. No, oh, yeah. We got a little shark. Look at that! Alright, look at that. Alright, let me go get some flyers and stuff. First shark ever? I still hooked him. Hold on to that. Well, besides the party boat. Alright, so we're not sure what kind of shark this is. But it's got some teeth. Yeah, hard, hard. Really hard. Now you grab his tail. Alright, now when you let him go, just put him down in the water. He won't he'll swim off. Alright, there he goes. Let's see, he's reviving, he's recovering. He's getting himself together. There he goes. So, so I caught a shark. On the beach. On the beach, my first ever shark on the beach. Yeah. And I almost made that terrible mistake of picking it up only by the tail yeah. and letting it bite you in the shoulder. Yeah, don't, don't do Have that. Have you seen those videos? Yeah, just YouTube them if you haven't seen it. I, I, I don't want to link to other people's stuff out there, but just, you know, if you're really curious about watching people get bit by sharks that they're mishandling, uh, it, it's not hard. They can whip right mm -hmm. around on you. And so you pick them up squarely on the gills. Um, if they're if they're big enough, if they're not that big, you, there's different ways to handle them. But the ones we yeah. catch, don't well, tend to be that big. We're very tempted not to pick them up close to the mouth because I I don't want to get bit. You don't want to get bit. See, I was thinking further back, but then I was gonna kind of stomach the first part. But yeah. I'm glad you showed me how to put it behind the head. Yes, so you, right behind the head. Almost like a snake. I want yeah yeah. So very you much. have more control and over then, that and then, head. And and this one was probably about two and a half three foot, so it's not not a terribly big shark but once they get bigger and bigger then you kind of you can pull them in by their tail but then you're yeah. still going to make sure you want to have control over that head um and and, and the head and tail that's the two parts you want to have control over so um i got cut off a couple times there um i, I put yeah. one of them in there uh, there were definitely a lot of sharks out there probably your uh, this shark probably yeah. sharks and they were out there and i didn't have any steel leader but they, we were using 60 pound um uh, monofilament tests so normally that's pretty good you know 60 to 80 I can um, still bite through it. But they it. went right through it like it was nothing. And we're using this live pinfish, which that was cool. We haven't used the pinfish trap before. Um, we were able to find pinfish. And, and we didn't use a special bait. We just we used just some... Frozen shrimp from HEB. We and we threw over. it in there. That Yeah, we just... They like, tore it up. Yeah, they like that. Yeah, so... And they so, were nice um, and lively. Mm -hmm. um, next time I probably won't keep as many. I'll probably just kind of throw away some of the bigger ones and keep some of the tall, smaller ones. But that was the first time we'd used the trap, so that was pretty cool. Um, and uh, then beach, there was, there was a, still, the beach was kind of muddy, the water. It's still been hard to catch reds or, you know, no, it's not. anything. They're there, but they're just few and far between, I think. Mm -hmm. I've seen some pictures of, of people catching them, but they're few and far between. So, 
Anyway, hope you liked the video. It wasn't as long. We, it was uh, just a little short trip that we took down the beach there um, and uh, with, with a friend of hers and, and her family. And fishing was kind of like the secondary thing. is more spending time with friends and, and that sort of thing. So, um, But if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. That really does help us out Please a lot. subscribe to our channel. Yeah, Share. subscribe. And uh, you can find us now on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And there's a new app that I just started today. Uh, called Go Wild. Hmm. Um, and if you like fishing and hunting and you're kind of like done with Facebook drama stuff, that's all it is, is fishing and hunting. Um, outdoor stuff. I think there's also hiking. And pretty much anything outdoors. R RVing. There's a whole category of things. I only looked at the fishing and hunting stuff because that's really all I mm -hmm. do. Um, not sponsored by them. I don't get anything. I don't think for I get anything them. for mentioning them. But, but I've been exploring it today and it's pretty cool. It's hmm. pretty cool. Go so, Wild. Yeah, it's called Go Wild. Um, but we still are on Facebook and the rest of them, so you can find us there too. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Um, of course, that helps us for continuing to climb the subscriber ladder. And um, hit the notifications bell as well to get notified when things go live. And uh, we have more adventures coming. We've got a couple more videos in the works. And uh, looking forward to that. So oh, yeah. until next time. May you always catch your limit.